Hello, welcome to the Sunday Sister Session, number 11. I can't believe it's been 11 already. Um, for those of you who are watching on YouTube, um, hit subscribe and press the bell button so you get notified of when we are going live. Um, so for those of you who have never watched before, um, welcome, thanks for joining. Um, so this is all about having talks about things that aren't always talked about and it's about good vibes, positivity um, and helping us get through uh, difficult times. So I'm waiting for my sister to join, um, love from Lisa or love Lisa, she's changed her name, love Lisa Singer, that's it, that's the one, um, just waiting for her to join so I'm hoping here she is, I'm going to add her in. Hello, sister. Are you here? Hello. Hello. I hear sound. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Lisa, you're a little bit dark. The, the room oh, yeah, is a little bit dark. I've moved location. Can't see your face. Your beautiful Let me face. Try move into the. Oh, boob shot, boob shot. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That's one for the boys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi. No, ah. no, no coming in. Oh. Sorry, the children, are, I've moved location. Yeah. The children are trying to come in. No, 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 yeah. no. Stay yeah. outside, okay. please. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. How are good. you? Yeah, good, thank you. Not bad, not bad. Um, so I've just explained what our chat's about and I've said about YouTube. Oh, well done. And I, I, I got your name right, love Lisa Singer. I almost said your old <laughs> name and then I was like, oh, what is it? Wait, hang on. <laughs> love Lisa, love Lisa Singer. <laughs> Sorry, I keep changing my name. You change your name more than I change my underwear. <laughs> Just turn them inside out. <laughs> I've only changed it twice. So what does that say about your underwear? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm Yay. saying here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it all looks very entertaining and I have no idea what I was saying. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo. Oh, I can't you. have a drink this week because I'm driving. Boo-hoo. Oh, that's boring. I know, you can't drink and drive. So we have changed our format and we are now only half an hour. We're super slick and super fly. Yeah, we're super fly, super slick. And Kelly Kins as well. Thanks for joining. And Real Nappy Life joined as well. So thanks, guys. Yeah, we've got some new faces. Okay, so tell yes. me what you what your funny thing is this week because I've oh, had a well, rubbish day today well, and I would really like to hear something happy. Oh no. Well, I it's not actually funny for like right now, but it's something to go away and, and watch. Okay, so I am a reality TV show junkie and that's my guilty pleasure. I love everything. I love Love yeah. Island. I loved Big Brother. I was so sad when it finished. I almost cried. <laughs> um I, I love I loved The Only Way is Essex until it just got a bit over the top and I love Made in Chelsea. Uh, and, yeah. Oh I love it. You like and trash a TV. A couple of the um the uh cast uh my clients as well so I'm always like <gasps> calm yourself calm yourself yes I'm a professional <laughs> 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 um and I love Jamie Lang. He's from Made in Chelsea. Who is Jamie Lang? Oh his his family um are the McVitie family. They are the McVitie Biscuits. McVitie Biscuits. Oh my God, I thought you said McVitie <laughs> then. McVitie, like, like Little Britain. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Little Britain. That was you earlier, adjusting your camera. <laughs> so sorry about that. I didn't realise. <laughs> if anyone has joined late, go back and watch it when we post it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like what's her face from 
like Judy oh. from Richard and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> so I love Jamie Lang. I just think he's so funny. And um, on the show, on Made in Chelsea, he's not a very, he's, he's not what you'd say is a nice character, even though he's, he's a lovable rogue. He always, you know, cheated okay. on his girlfriends and right. stuff. And, you know, but his podcast is brilliant. I love it. And his girlfriend, um, Habs, who's also on the show, during lockdown, they did little videos every week. And it was like challenge of the week. And it was so funny because she's just really like, Jamie, really? And he's like an excited puppy. And she's just like, and it's so funny. Wait, is it a video or is it a podcast? uh, Well, I digress. It's a video, but then they've (laughs) now done, he's now done a podcast and it's called, there's two. There's one called Private Parts with Francis Boulay, who's also on Made in Chelsea. And they interview loads of different celebrities. But the podcast is filmed so that you can also see their faces as well as it being a podcast. Okay, right. Yeah. And um, they, him and Spencer Matthews, who is also from the show. Oh, yeah, I know who Spencer yeah, is. Yeah, Spenny. Spenny. He's gorgeous. Yes, but he was also a rogue. But he's now, he, I think he's now, okay, I don't know. Um, <laughs> they now do a podcast for the BBC. Which is oh, awesome. awesome. Okay. Yeah. So, so where can you find this video? Yes. Wait, so if you go podcast, onto wait, video. <laughs> if you go on to Jamie Lang's account, um, which I'll put the details on Insta, um, then he's got the little highlights which are, have links to his, his podcast and also the one on the BBC. So it's BBC Sounds. He's not stupid, is he? No, he's not stupid, but I'll post all of the details as well so you can find them easily. And that just cheers me up. They've got really soothing voices. They've got really good voices for like radio and listening, but they're really super funny as well. That's what you need. I just love them. When you're like in the car going somewhere, like driving for half an hour or something, you need a good podcast to keep you company as you go somewhere. Yeah, exactly. I I do that a lot when I'm doing housework. I just have my big headphones on and just, yeah, love it. So Laugh that's been... your way through the housework. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that dirty laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah, because when I was with you last weekend, I realised that Lily started doing this hysterical laugh and I started doing it. When I got back, I discovered I was doing it. It's kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> because I'd done the silly laugh I ended up laughing again you're that crazy woman who laughs and then laughs at her own laugh <laughs> just keeps on going it's the gift that keeps giving <laughs> oh oh who is this in the background <laughs> you uh, <gasps> who was that oh my god no, <laughs> <laughs> Was that George? I got so scared. <laughs> I didn't see anything. Then I turned around and see this looming figure over me. I pooed my pants. <laughs> that was really... so, so, so what's your funny thing? BBC Three, please like. And it's a comedian who I didn't think was very funny. And, and it's true. He's like this down and out comedian who can't get work. And then he... <laughs> then yeah. he... Then he's yeah. um, applied to be winning a competition to be a vlogger. And then he gets like introduced to all these vlog professional vloggers. And they've got like these really like happy, hypey, hyper voices, a bit like us, actually. And then um, and then they're like, right, so can you just like talk us through it? And he's like, so you did. And they're like, oh, can you not just sound a bit more happy? <laughs> you sound a bit boring. <laughs> Um, and, and yeah, he's just really deadpan and takes the mickey out of everything. And it's really funny and uh, had me belly laughing. And I was thinking, God, is this is this real? Like, are the vloggers real in this? So I started looking them up and it's completely fictional. Everything about it is fictional. But what's funny is that some of the viewers on YouTube have commented saying, oh, my God, that's a total like, piss take of Zoella. <laughs> yeah, it's funny so I looked up Zoella and she's just like that big time vlogger. She started off as a blogger. and She's got like 11 oh million God. followers or something. You're so loud. And yeah, it was, it's really funny. It's just him learning how to be a vlogger and taking the mickey in the process. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, 
awesome. We'll have to. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice. So I'm going to be taskmaster and move us on because we've been 15 minutes already. <gasps> yep, we have. No. <laughs> 15 minutes. Okay, quick. Come on, keep going. Keep moving. 15 minutes. Oh, I've frozen. Oh, oh I've it was my you. ex. The, n the number of times I've what told him, don't I call me between you. this time and this mm -hmm. time. And every week he calls me. Oh, That's my ex was, oh. interrupting my phone call. Oh, I see. My Insta <laughs> chat. You've just got a call. Anyway, so. So we didn't do the challenge last week. Epic fail. So, so we challenged ourselves and everyone else who's watching and wanted to take part to either go for a walk, flip a die, uh, flip a coin when you get to a junction and either go left or right for take is for getting out yeah. of that control mentality, or to write down seven things that you wanted to do that you keep putting off, put them in a jar, shake them up, and every day take out a new one. And the other one was to get creative, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, which I didn't they do were wonderful I didn't ideas. do any of them. Yeah, we didn't do them. Didn't do them. Yeah. It did. No, yeah. life got in so the way. Has any, did anyone do them who's watching, by the way? Comment. Anyone? 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 Um, but anyone? one thing that I did do, which... Oh, Kelly said she did Ooh. the jar thing. Amazing. How did you well get done, on? Well done, Kelly. Score. You did better than us. Um, but one thing that I did do, um, oh, oh it's Tuba. Tuba. Oh. Tuba, we love you. So Tuba was our, our au pair when we were young. Yeah. Love you, Tuba. She's always gorgeous. Yeah, no, we've got to keep moving. Yes, we've got to keep moving. So um, one thing that I did do is um, I, because I've been feeling quite a lot of anxiety throughout the day and quite stressed work-wise and I couldn't work out why because I do um, treatments and I can take same day bookings and I'm across four different apps that can all book me at, a, at, a, at the, an mm. instant notice. What I tried doing from like Wednesday onwards was to turn my availability off for the following day, the night before, so that I couldn't take any yeah. immediate bookings. And do you know what? That made a huge difference because what I realized is yeah. that I was always on high alert. I always had was in that fight or flight mode because at any moment I would have to jump up, get in the car and go and do a facial, or go and do reflexology. And I couldn't plan my day because I could start off maybe with two bookings in the morning, but then suddenly have five or I, you know, yeah, not have neither. any. So I. Yes, yeah, so you can't plan your day. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. um, and so what you did was you set boundaries yeah, which is on. awesome and you looked at something that wasn't working out for you with work and you thought right how can I make this better yeah and then you changed it so that it suits you so you said no and sometimes we yeah. feel guilty or you know find it hard yeah really hard especially as a therapist or an energy healer or anything like that, you want to always help. Mm. And without a full cup, you can't give from an empty cup. Yeah. <laughs> and my cup was so dry. <laughs> About having self-love and self-worth and, you know, putting yourself first, which I never do with work. I always put work first. Um, so I feel like I've turned a massive corner and I'm so excited about next week because already this evening I'm like, well, when we finish Sunday sister session, I'm turning off my diary. It doesn't matter if I have one booking or five bookings, it's going off. And then I can plan what I'm going to do the next day. And it's me then. Exactly. So I will definitely now be able to look into crystals 
And one of my neighbours is really into crystals. So she's, well, I can't go around to her house now because new restrictions, but we're going to do it in the road and she's going to sort of tell me about crystals. Oh, so, yeah, that reminds me. Yeah. I was going to tag you in yeah. it, actually, because I found this really amazing um, crystal jewellery on Instagram Ooh. today in really like lovely Ooh. designs, all with different like healing qualities. And um, I signed up for their newsletter amazing. and got like 20% off this? or something. So I will tag okay, you yes, and send you the do, link and I stuff. Will literally it's go awesome. And buy one it's beautiful. As well. I was going to get you some for your birthday, actually. Oh, thanks. My birthday on Halloween. I'm a witch. A good witch, a white yeah. witch. Okay, so I was doing some um, Reiki earlier in the week and while I was yeah. doing Reiki, it popped into my head like, oh, I, it's really important to me to do work that it, like means something in my heart. Like I really want it to come from my heart, whatever it is that I'm doing next. Like, you know, yeah. if I'm thinking about my next project. And yeah. um, then it popped into my head, oh, maybe I should get in touch with Kate Taylor. She's really good at doing, um, she's a work coach. Yeah. And um, literally when I finished the Reiki, I went on Instagram and the first post that popped up was Kate Taylor saying that she's doing a talk that night a live chat on um, Zoom about heart-based careers. <laughs> I couldn't Just believe mental, it. I was like, it? oh my God, look at the synchronicity. So I signed up immediately um, that evening and did her chat, her talk, and it was so I... good. It was really, really good. She talked about... Oh, hello, Frankie. Frankie. Oh, hello. Yeah, Frankie. She's just jumped on my lap. Frankie. Mitt, carry on. Sorry. It was really, really good. She talked about... Um, how to diversify your business during lockdown and um, like centred on your heart and choosing what you're doing yeah. next from the heart. Yes. It's about visualising yeah. who you want to work with. So um, if, you know, if you've got your own business, what yeah. kind of customers or what kind of client, um, clients or business partners that you want to draw in? And so Ooh. I was thinking, oh, God, I didn't think of that before. So I was like sat there visualising like rudimental and subfocus and like, <laughs> Oh, what juices would I want to work with? Stormzy. <laughs> and um, and you just sit there and visualise it and call yeah. it in. You can call these people into your energy to like try and doesn't um Not like manifest all. these outcomes for your business. 100%. I mean, they seem like so out there, but actually that's the thing that you need to do is to visualise it and imagine it actually being real, that it's not completely out there, that it could be possible, that that's where you could be in a like, you know, however many months, years time. She's a really good life coach and she does um, NLP and things like that. And she's also training people to become life coaches themselves and work coaches. Sorry, I'm going to have to move because my legs are killing me so she's got this whole system that she's devised and she'll help you like strategize your business etc but in a really lovely like gorgeous and way. also that visualization isn't just for if you've got your own business it can work for anything so if you're working for someone if you're working in a company you can start to visualize about what you want to achieve and who you want who your ideal boss is so um one talking about like sort of following your heart I think what is really important, whether you are, whether you work for a company or whether you're setting up your own business or whether your business is well established, the main thing, the one thing that I've learned is to not follow the money, follow your heart. And the person who taught me that is Kat Caroy. So Kat Caroy is amazing. And she's got um, an Instagram course called the Instagram Makeover. And I'll put her details. I, I was sat <laughs> during lockdown talking to my neighbor saying you know I'm I'm I've got my business it's established but I feel like on Instagram I don't have a soul my business my my feed doesn't have a soul and I'm just trying to find myself and she said hey, go to Kat Caroy so I paid like 300 pounds to do a six-week course and she's updating it all the time and it's a lifetime subscription. So you can just dip in and out of it all the time. Mm. And like when Reels came out on Instagram, she did. She was really quick to do a whole thing on Reels to teach you how to use it. Like it's amazing. It's so worth the money if you've got it. Um, and but what she it, it's not just an Instagram course. She's taught you. She teaches you about your brand soul and she gets you to do all of these exercises before you go into the course about Instagram to really work out 
what is it that you want to achieve? How do you want people to feel? Stop thinking about the money and I want, I'm doing my business to make money. Why are you doing this? And that just really focused me. And and then you and then you read out what's important to you and actually what isn't important to you. And I dropped so many things to do with my business because I was like, I was just chasing the money with that. Not I'm not that's not in my heart. And it's oh my god, it was amazing. So I'm gonna put the details to Kat Caroy as well. She's fabulous, and you've got like a Facebook group with everyone on it, and everyone's so supportive of each other, and you can throw your ideas out and ask questions, and everyone responds. It's just, it's an amazing support network as well. I'm trying to remember my heart-based thing. Oh, sorry. I was going to mention next. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Hang on. Come back, come back. Where is it? Oh, something to do with heart oh. centers. Uh, was, was it was it about um, your producer stuff? Oh, yes. Thank you. That's okay. That's it. So um, I was so excited to learn how to use Ableton, the music software. And I had like a whole day to myself to learn it. Like not that I was going to learn it in one day, but I was just really psyched thinking, yes, this is the way forward. I can make my own music. <laughs> and then after a day, I was like, oh, my God, like, this is going to take me years oh. to learn. Like, it's really hard. And I mean, it's actually really easy software, but it's it's going to be a slow burn, you know, and no amount of positive thinking is going to let me l get the music out as quickly as I'd like to. So I'm going to have to just be patient and take my time and learn it. And yeah, so I was just really disappointed and I was feeling really dejected about it. And then I thought, well, maybe mm -hmm. I shouldn't get so upset about it. Maybe there's a reason and, you know, maybe there's another solution. Anyway, I went to go and pick up um, my daughter from preschool. And then George, our sister, our girl G, the DJ, she said, oh, I met a producer today and he wants to work with you. And I was like, oh, amazing. <laughs> and it's like, amazing. I didn't amazing. need to worry about anything and sometimes like we can be banging on one door pushing on one door yeah. thinking that that's the way forward when it's not it but there is another you've got way. to trust in the universe yeah exactly there's another yeah. way so we've got to be quick we've got we've got three minutes left please so we've got to yes. be quick so um a quick um our task today ah! our task today so I'm not I'm not sure if you're down for this or not, Lise, but um what I've I found affirmations have been really, really, really helpful to me this week. Mm. And my favourite affirmation of the week is I believe in myself and trust in my ability to succeed in all that I do. And I've been saying yeah, that to lovely. myself in the morning. And I found it's really got me out of that horrible funk that I was in. Yes. Um so I, I would like to task everyone to do an affirmation in the morning when they wake up. And we're going to post a selection of affirmations just to give you some inspiration. It's great if you've got your own or you know where to find them. But if you don't know, we're going to post some in the description to give you a, a, a kickstart into, into doing those. Yay! Yay! Yeah, I love an affirmation. Um, and then very quickly, um, we need to do the draw. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I've got, um, Frankie is sleeping on my arm. So he's, excuse me, Frank, thank you. Right, so. I know, right? <gasps> okay, so, so this week, so next week I am launching brand new Christmas I love these, presents. they're amazing. Look how big that is. So, so beautiful. Sorry, I've already started burning Look. this one. So these are candles. So you've got pink cut glass and also a black one <gasps> as well. Ooh, so I do them in it. all of my scents that I've got, but I brought out a new scent for Christmas. So oh, Jen, you should see how many hearts you're oh, getting. It's so lovely. Thank you guys. So the new scent is called Winter Nights. And um, I'm, I'm really sick of smelling Christmas candles that smell really musky, really heavy, 
and really sweet and it gives you a headache. So I've brought out a Christmas scent, which is cinnamon, a hint of cinnamon, nutmeg, and, oh, what's the other one? I've forgotten now. Um, nutmeg and cinnamon. Oh, and ginger and ginger. Ginger, nutmeg oh, and nice. cinnamon. Like so the, the cinnamon gives baking. you that Christmassy feel. The ginger gives you the spice. And the nutmeg is kind of like earthy, but uh, but quite velvety. But it also, it it energizes, it uplifts, it um, soothes. And it encourages um, concentration and spirituality. And it also gives you self-assurance. So, yes. Thank you. I'm doing all of my normal scents. And then that's the new scent that I've launched. And they are available for pre And how much are they? Oh, yes. So they're $34.99. And it burns Amazing for up price. to 100 hours. And perfect oh, for Christmas yeah. gifts. Yeah, thank you. And so um, they're on my website now. They launch. Um, oh, no, Sam's saying he never received the candle he won. All right, Sam, I did send it to you. So I will check the tracking number for you. Why didn't you let me know sooner, Sam? We'll, we'll sort that out. I know, it was a nice one as well. Um, we'll sort that out, Sam. I'll message you separately. Um, so... I am launching these next week, but they're on my website now, just jennifer.co.uk. Okay. So you can yeah. order and I'm doing a special offer at the moment, which is on my website where you get 20% off your order if you spend more than £30 no. on two items. Wow. Yeah. So okay. the winner is going to get Amazeballs. one of these. Yes. So, yay, hang on, right, I've just got to find the list. Okay. My eyes, I think, have my makeup's run after crying with laughter. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Who's it going to be? Who is the winner? Lolly Bleak. Yeah. Lonnie Blake's the winner. Congratulations, Congratulations. and jubilations. Woo. Oh my God, what a terrible song to sing. <laughs> so I know Lolly's not watching today. We just have a I laugh and our friends join us. Her. Well, no, Haley, we Sam, haven't met you before, will, but you are considered um, a friend now. I don't know where that's gone, but DPD will be getting an email. Um, so anyone who watches our live will get into a draw the following week to win a Just Jennifer product from her home fragrance range. One lucky winner will get these beautiful candles. It's so exciting. Can't wait. Looks good in the light, doesn't it? It kind of like looks very glam. Seriously, well done, Jen. Oh, thank you. I love our chat. I always feel good afterwards. Yes, me too. I love them. Even if no one else does, I love them. <laughs> no matter how rubbish I'm feeling beforehand, after our chats, I feel awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Who needs so well and 11 million exactly. followers? <laughs> I feel like we need the Carlton dance. <gasps> Can you get George in to do the Carlton dance? Okay, let's go and get George. Yeah, just just to send us out. George. Yeah, well, we're over time. We're over the time. Yes, get yeah, her. George, get come her. and do the Carlton. Can you do the Carlton dance, get her. George? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Please. Right, we're gonna go out. What do you mean you don't know how to do yeah. it? Yes, you do, George. Yes, you can. That one. Da 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 The Carlton. Yes, that yes, one. The hit. Da yes. That's it? Yeah. No, not that one. No, the cart no. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Go hot now. Go hot now. Go hot now. Go hot now. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you so Let's much for joining us again this week. week. It's so lovely to have you watch. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.